Hello and welcome. It is Sunday 28th of November. It's 6pm. We've currently got the last 15 minutes of Chelsea Man United going on. Pretty good game so far. Won't spoil anything for you. Those who might want to watch later on. We have potential new things for today. They've released three new cards earlier on. The Mendy Laurenti and the Ruben Diaz. Seem like pretty good cards. The Mendy's a little slow. The 38 pace, uh, 38 speed. Not going to go too well. But if you put a glove on that, that's still a really good keeper's card. But the yeah, the the um, the Marcus Llorente one is the one that I would be interested in. Apart from obviously De Bruyne. But the Llorente one looks really good. And this is taking an age to log in. So basically, we're just going to see if there's any new... Objective, milestones, goodness forbid if they put a Teams thing in there today. Um, or any SPCs, players or dailies or Black Friday SPCs otherwise. I swear at some stage it's actually going to load. What are you doing? Why is it keeping me out? Oh, there we go. Right, let's take a peek. We will have the third daily login challenge. That I'm sure that's over there somewhere. But no other new objectives, no new events. And we have a Premier League player, Javier Manquillo, which is a strange I guess it's not strange it's nice to see a player who do, who doesn't get special cards getting a special card shouldn't be unhappy about that in any way shape or form so win six matches by two goals thus eliminating the golden goal thing going on Th score 30 goals and assist 20 goals the same as normal through road will be through balls yep assist with through balls in five Separate matches using Premier League players and then score score a volley using Premier League players in eight. Okay, fair enough, guys. Volleys and through balls and winning six. So there we go. Javier Manquillo, you have joined the league player club. Three star, three star, medium, medium work rate means he's not entirely special, but that pace is a good split. Passing is decent. The vision is awful, actually, 46. But he's solid defensively. So, to be honest, I would probably go with a backbone, the one that does passing, defending and physicals. Get the physicals up a little bit, push the defending up, and the passing will also be helped. So that's pretty good. Injury prone, obviously not applicable here. So we have the latest League player, Premier League, Javier Manquillo of Newcastle. Let's see what we got league-wise. I saw a Chiellini in there. So Benzema, still got four days. Martins, still got five days. Chiellini, is he going to have a big old pace boost? He's got, it's a flashback card because you can tell the two flashback symbol is the same. Flashback to when he had lots of hair. His debut season 0506. Okay. Okay. They've not changed his card back much. It's a still a quite a similar rated card to what he's got at the moment. In fact, it will be interesting to have a look. Three segments, so 82, 83, 84. That's pretty reasonable. As an SPC, as a flashback for somebody like Chiellini, but the fact he's only an 85-rated 85, 85 card overall means that I think that's still a bit expensive. Let's see how much he differs from his um, actual card. So it's a, it's a downgrade for the overall rating. Ah, okay, got you. It's a downgrade for the overall rating, but it's an upgrade pace-wise, which I can understand why they've done that, because pace is important, especially for central defenders in this game. So his normal card 67-69, and his, the, the flashback card is 
81 and obviously with a shadow or something like that you're talking 89 91 which is good the agility and balance has been upgraded the reactions and composure have been upgraded so what's been downgraded are oh, the actual defending so the defending has gone from 89 to 86 the physicals have gone up but because the defending has gone down, so has the card overall, because obviously it's weighted for him. The passing has improved a fair chunk, though, from 65s to 80s. Pretty good. I don't think I've ever seen him cross the ball ever, so I'm not sure why he's got 73 there. But Yeah, so he's an upgrade. That's weird. It's a weird thing, because he's so weighted on the defending, it's meant his card's gone down overall. Which is bizarre seeing a flashback card released at a lower rating than his... Actually, shit, they did it for the Aguero as well, didn't they? This is daily login challenge number three. which should be fairly straightforward. Yeah. So, eight players. Two rare. Chemistry, minimum 45. It should be very straightforward. So, you just need... What? Well, that is straightforward. Just get some links and do some triangles. So do these three together, then do these three together, and then centre backs together if you need to. But that should be really quite straightforward. Have we got anything else? We've got an 85 upgrade. Now, what is that going to Is this anything else tacked on the end of here? No. So we have an. Not the 81 double upgrade. We have an 85 upgrade. We have a daily login. We have a Chiellini. And. Yes. Yeah. And, and sorry. And Mankio as well, obviously. So the 85 upgrade is going to be an 80, an 83 rated squad, an 84 rated squad, an 83 rated squad with a team of the week. Okay. Well, that's going to be about Team of the Week. Uh, blah, blah. Assume you've got a Team of the Week player in your squad. It's probably best to use an 82 or an 83 rated one because that just helps. The rating, I'm going to either have a... It's Serie A, a La Liga or a French League theme, I think. So we'll try one of those. Put together, so that should be about 10k in total for the... Actually, no, it's going to be more expensive now because the fodder's gone up. So it still should be worth it because obviously with an 85 plus, you've got the potential of all these signature signings. You've got potential for the new ones, Mendy, Lorente, Ruben, Diaz, or going back to Renato Sanchez. I oh, know it won't be Renato Sanchez because he's an 84. Uh, but you can still get Atal, Diego Carlos, Kramaric, Jimenez, Witzel, Benyeda, Skriniar and De Bruyne so lots of potential there we like these challenges it's a good day for a little bit of content and the playable stuff as well with uh, Mankio as well oh okay uh, my I haven't finished the other the other league player thing so I've got some stuff to catch up with there let's see what it is have we got any promo packs No new promo packs and nothing here that I can preview at the moment. So we're in there. That's the good stuff for today. We've got Chiellini, we've got Mankio, we've got a daily login challenge and we've got an 85 plus. So overall, there's quite a lot of things there. Um, and they're pretty decent generally and we like that. So we'll end there. Uh, that's all for today. There'll be another video tomorrow. Thank you for clicking on this. I appreciate that. Bye bye.